Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this should resonate sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross watching, welcome. Um, it can be your situation or your partner's, just keep that in mind. All right, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. What messages do you have for Capricorn when it comes to love and romance for these next couple of weeks? For Capricorn, ooh, cards are wanting to come out. Somebody is thinking very, very strongly right now, Capricorn, of the memories that you and them have made with one another. You, you've taught somebody a very big lesson here, a lesson in love where this person has really had um, a difference of heart. Like, I feel like you're dealing with somebody, um, Capricorn, where at first they probably came on very, very strong and over the top. And then I feel like the more that you got to know them, I feel like you realize like that was a persona. It's like this person overly exuded this emotional intelligence. And for some reason, and I don't know why, just off this card, this is what I'm getting. Um, but I get that like, that was like kind of like their game until they met you. So they're learning a very big lesson here. And I feel like they're definitely shifting their um, perspective when it comes to love and romance. And it can be Capricorn because you turned around and walked away. I also get that there's a lot of people that are talking. There's a lot of gossip around your situation or your relationship with this person. And it's interesting because I feel like this relationship may have started off as one that was just very sexual, very passionate, like a lot of desires, right? Where there's just this, this insane amount of chemistry that's undeniable and it's, it, I feel like when you have this type of chemistry, it's hard to go back to something normal, right? It's 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 almost like you're on a roller coaster ride with this person. And I get that whoever you guys were dealing with or whoever you are dealing with, this is somebody who was like a love bomber, right? This is somebody who, like I told you over here, I feel like this person was very loving. I feel like this person was very caring. They were always um, very communicative. I feel like they wanted your attention. But I also get to with this person, all of this love bombing and over the top shit that they were kind of like spewing on you. I feel like it kind of was like a game. Like, I don't want to say that they were running game, but I feel like that's not who this person truly is. I feel like this person uses the way that they communicate and the way that they move. Like they're very charming, whoever you're dealing with. And I do feel like Capricorn, I feel like opposites attract. I feel like this is somebody that you typically wouldn't like. I feel like this is somebody that's very different than you. For instance, if you're a business professional, like this person is not. If you're established and set up, I feel like this person has less than you. Like I, I feel like this is definitely an opposite attracts type of energy where you want this person to get on the same page, but they're not. And it's funny because I do feel like Capricorn, you had enough, right? You were like, I'm done. I'm done with the games. I'm done with just the sex without any type of stability. You know, maybe we're too different to be together. Like, I think that you're having this whole moment right now where you're, you're really taking a deep look into what works and what doesn't. And for a lot of you guys, when things don't work out, you know what you do? You work. You focus on what you have control over. And I feel like right now, Capricorn, you're very focused and you're very fixated right now on your finances, on, you know, um, on your work. You know, if something is, is off, it's like you throw yourself into work and anytime you go through these major traumatic situations, especially with love, the moment that you reshift that focus and invest it back into yourself, I feel like Capricorn, you grow um, exponentially. Like there's something about you when you go through these tough situations that force this elevation, especially with your career and finance. Because I really do get that you really did love this person, right? I think that you unconditionally love this person. But at the same point in time, Capricorn, I think that you're very old school, right? There's a way to do things and there's a way not to. Whether you're somebody that believes in monogamy, like you want your one person. There's certain things that you expected from this person and you take dating very seriously. So if you say, I'm going to commit to this person, you're like, yo, I'm really committed. You're investing your time, right? And I think that what people forget is time is money and time is limited. So if I'm taking my time to spend it on you and you're over here playing games and acting like a fool, like I could just be, 
like why like why am i even doing it to myself and i feel like with this person that's why you're frustrated but i also get too you know with this situation you had to do a lot of healing because i think that you did a lot for this person and I feel like this person definitely, um, you know, they didn't value you the way that you were meant to be valued. But part of me feels like this person is in incapable of valuing you to their extent because how are you going to explain to flies why honey is better? All flies know is shit. So, you know, it's like you're expecting, it's almost like you took somebody who you knew you shouldn't have been with and it's like you tried to give them a different perspective you tried to give them a different life and in and in return it's like this person didn't value you they didn't value the work that you put in they didn't value you know everything that you were contributing and 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 i feel like you know you definitely felt unappreciated in the relationship with this person it just never was enough for them and i feel like also too if you met this person at work or even just in general, there's a lot of talk going around, I feel like either about your person or about you. And, um, you know, I feel like there's rumors. I feel like people are talking. Either this person is talking to their friends, you're talking to your friends. There's people that are talking about your relationship around you. And, and I don't know why, Capricorn, but I feel like you don't like that. Yeah. Now we have paralyzed here, right? I feel like also too, there are people that are talking to your person about you. And you know, the funny thing about your person Capricorn is I feel like this is somebody who's emotionally withdrawn, but I feel like they're emotionally withdrawn because they're incapable of their of really feeling it, right? Paralyzed by love, I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like that's your person's energy. And I feel like your person was so scared to really be vulnerable with you because I think that really opening up and being vulnerable with you, right? Un unlocking, unlocking this door of love, opening themselves up to the possibility that this is something real. I think it scares them. I think the idea of this soulmate connection, I think, I, I think it was, I think it, I think it scared the hell out of them because this is somebody who's typically in control whether they're manipulating a situation or not they're in control and you and this person have this soul connection where it really is true love but i think that this person had to unlock or unblock this heart chakra because the idea of 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 being vulnerable to you it, it it's paralyzing and i feel like you're dealing with somebody who typically plays games. I think that you're dealing with somebody who hides how they really feel. They're not being honest about their emotions towards you. You may even be dealing with somebody who gambles or who, it, it, it's like this, for some reason, this person, they have two aspects of them, which we all do, but I feel like they, they never let on to like what was really going on. Like, I don't feel like this person ever truly expressed the truth to you with how they really felt. And I do get, Capricorn, that this is a situation where it was really painful. With love, you know, I think that you really did try to fight for this love. I think that you really did try to fight and, and, and see if things could work. Because for you, you felt like it was worth the trouble. And I think that for a period of time, you may have chased this person. You may have chased this person because you, you said to yourself, like, they just need love, right? How many times have you guys said that to, 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 to yourself? Like, that's an amazing person, but they've never been love right. Like, I feel like you guys, even though Capricorn is an earth sign, I feel like you have the ability, Capricorn, to identify certain faults or certain weaknesses or certain low points in people. And I think that you have the ability to give to those things. So if somebody is lacking in one area, you feel you can supplement as long as you're receiving something back. And I feel like with this relationship, you know, there's a lot of memories and a lot of things that you have to get over, right? As, as, as many things that were very pleasurable, there was also things that were very sad. And I feel like with this person, there's a lot of energy where it was um, past energy, right? Past karma. And timing was definitely an, an issue here. Maybe, you know, you in this situation needed more time to completely evolve 
or patience was needed, but I feel like Capricorn, you were over it because you're tired of going in circles. See, that's what people don't understand about Capricorn. Capricorn will do the song and dance for a period of time until they realize they're wasting their time. When a Capricorn realizes I'm wasting my fucking time, it's done, right? And I feel like you're tired of going in circles. You're tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again and nothing ever changing. This person says that they're gonna learn and they never do. And I think it's because this person is closed off emotionally. I think that this person has a really hard time showing genuine emotion. I feel like this person can fake it till they make it 100%, but when it really comes down to loving somebody, loving somebody at a core level, I definitely feel like this person has struggled. They've struggled quite a bit and I feel like they avoid intimacy. Having sex is easy for them. Being passionate is easy for them. Having that magnetic chemistry is easy for them. But having a sense of sensuality and intimacy outside of sex is, is challenging for this person. And it's because they've been hurt in the past to the point where it's like they don't even want to go there. I also get um, two with this breakup or with whatever is happening between the two of you and i'm saying this and it was um 11 minutes and 11 seconds in this has really um activated their love their their heart chakra which is funny because that's what i was talking about earlier right you've awakened a part of them that by the way i'm watching my dog rip up a, a spiral bound notebook uh hopefully i'll find the notes sometime soon but uh you know, I think that this may be a twin flame situation where it's like you're awakening or opening their heart chakra. So now all of a sudden, if you take a look here, you have love activation, memory, unlocking, healing, and, finali and finality. So you ending things with them has really triggered a sense of healing. And by triggering this sense of healing, it's, it's unlocking their heart chakra and it's making them feel certain things that they've never felt before because I do get that this person is mad toxic. I think that this person was low vibrational. I don't think that they were good for you. I think it was a toxic relationship because they tried to manipulate you, manipulate the situation in order to get what you want, what they wanted from you. And um, I feel like, you know, for a lot of you guys, I don't know why, but I get that like, you're just tired. You're tired because you feel like this person, you and this person is meant to be together. You're, you, you're frustrated because it's like, why can you not just hop on the soul train, right? Like you feel very strongly that this is an intense soul connection. This person feels it too, but it's stuck in the sense of, of, of a level of toxicity because this person is closed off and because they're, they're, they're not comfortable ha being vulnerable. They're not comfortable showing somebody how they really feel and putting themselves out there to, to get hurt. I also get, like I said earlier, I feel like this is a very sexual type of relationship, right? You know, and 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 I think part of you guys, if 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 the sex was off the chains, part of you is like, damn, like, is it the sex? Like, am I in love with this or am I in love with that? Is this real? But I feel like the thing about these twin flame relationships is I feel like they start off, it's it's almost like here's what here's my perspective. I feel like twin flame relationships are almost like activated or initiated through a level of sex. Like that intimacy, I feel like kicks things up a notch. So with you and your person, it's it's it, it's it's almost like the sex <laughs> changed you. And it may have changed this person because I feel like with this person, there's a lot of change that's happening for them. Because see, I feel like with this person, they were okay pretending. This person was okay having surface level relationships you know, saying what they had to say. It's like this person would, would send good morning, beautiful to 10 people. It's like, it's almost like that type of energy that's coming in here with them where it was, it was just fake. And I feel like this person really put you in a mental prison for a period of time, but there's only so long you can keep a Capricorn stuck in their head before they say enough is enough. And I feel like because you've separated yourself from this person, you've taken yourself out of this mental prison and you're doing the healing work and you're doing the work that's necessary in order for, for you to ascend and in order for you to really attract who you want. And I feel like with your person, they're jealous. I think that they're jealous now, Capricorn, because you said enough is enough. 
And it's like, you're running away. You're avoiding the connection. You're ignoring them. It's like, I gave you enough of my time. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna be an option to you. I'm not gonna be a secret to you. And I feel like Capricorn, for some of you guys, you did some type of search and I feel like you found some type of information online about this person. Either you saw something or there was something online that this person was doing um, that, you, that you didn't like. I'm getting that overwhelmingly. Um, what messages do you have for Capricorn when it comes to this person? Also too, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Messages you have for Capricorn. I feel like you dodged a bullet Capricorn. I, I, I think right now you're in a place where this person more than likely is blocked. I think that you're not talking to them. Um, I think that, you know, there was just a lot of people involved, which is something that I got. And, and I think that you're just tired of fighting. You're over it. You're, you feel like you always have to compete for this person's attention. And if you have to compete, then it's like, I'm out. I'm not gonna compete. You know, what What the hell does the Empress look like competing with, with a knight? Like the Empress doesn't compete. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Empress sits on her throne. It's like, what is a lion listening to sheep? A lion doesn't listen to sheep. And I, and I feel like that's your energy right now with this person, like the fuck you thought. Oh, you thought you were gonna have me in a third party situation? Oh, oh, you thought you were gonna sit up here and waste my time? Wrong, wrong. I'm not the one, right? Well, they're sitting here trying to waste your time, trying to play games, right? Because that's what it is. This is a game to get what they want. It's a game to stall. It's a game to gain a certain sense of control. The moment, again, you invest in yourself, Capricorn, you automatically win. I always say that, like when competing with a Capricorn, like, I, I don't know. For me, Capricorns always win because you guys have a certain tenacity where it's like, I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna do the right thing. And I feel like because you do the right thing, I think that you avoid a lot of drama. And I get that with this person, there's a lot of drama around them, whether it's drama with their family, drama with their child's mother or father, this person has a lot of drama. So by you removing yourself from the situation, you're blocking any further drama from coming in here. Because I think that you're fed up. I think that you're tired of this person pretending to be somebody that they're not. I feel like your person is having money problems. I think that they like to pretend on the internet that they're, that they're flossing, that they're fancy, that they're showing off. But in reality, it's like you know that, that this person doesn't have anything that they're trying to portray. This person just likes the idea of people thinking a certain thing. And I feel like, honestly, Capricorn, they're tripping on you. They're really tripping because I think that they're getting a lot of bad karma for the way that they've treated you. I think that they're receiving everything that they've done to you, right? They're having nightmares, insomnia, they're paranoid, there's anxiety, they're unable to sleep. And it's because they're up thinking about you. Their head is in the clouds. You know, they're reflecting on certain things that you've said. They're reflecting on the fact that you're ignoring them or now that they're blocked, they don't have any access to you, right? No matter how much this person tries to dig deep, cause they are looking you up. They're in your social media, they're nosy as hell. They're trying to figure out what you're doing, who you're talking to. They're really in your business. And I feel like your energy is coming across as very unfazed. Like you don't care. You know that they're creeping. You know that they're watching. You know that they're looking, but you don't care. You're like, go ahead and watch on cause you're gonna be waiting forever. Like you're purposely putting the screws to this person because unless they come to you with some real offer, you're like, I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah, it's like they're rejected. So they either come correct or they don't come at all. And I feel like with this person, that's why they're struggling because you're holding them to a certain standard. You're holding them and you're saying, you know, this is what I expect. You either rise to the occasion or you rise the hell, you know, or you drop the hell out, right? What, how does this person view um, Capricorn? How, how do they view their relationship with Capricorn romantically? How does this person, okay, nine of wands, trying to keep their distance. They, they feel like you're pushing them away, okay? How do they view their role is? This is, this is a situation where somebody keeps you at an arm's length because they're not comfortable 100% giving. This is also somebody that has a problem with the idea of relationships and monogamy, in my personal opinion. 
and 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 how does this person view their role romantically when it comes to capricorn the empress the four of swords okay they're healing they're thinking sagittarius energy um you may be like a capricorn sag cusp pop possibly um or this person may be a libra or a leo i don't know why that's coming in and and, and what do they feel capricorn's role is romantically in the situation with them knight of pentacles you've stalled it you're like i'm not talking you know where to find me right knight of pentacles I, there's nothing for me to say you're very stagnant right now and you're very persistent and you're pushing this person to say either be responsible or nothing at all i think that you're holding them to a higher standard than even their parents held them let me just put it that way and i get that with this person capricorn in their life they didn't have a lot of stability growing up stability was challenging for them so it's almost like this person is kind of like wild like i don't know why but they're showing me like a wild horse damn that's messed up like i'm not trying to compare yourself compare your partner to a wild horse but this is somebody that that that's had a level of freedom for a period of time what what is capricorn's person what do they um what do they feel is stopping them from truly committing to capricorn romantically page of wands they're immature it's their games, right? It's like they have to get out of this fuck boy or fuck girl type of energy and acknowledge something that's real. Um, what do they want? What, what are they thinking about heavily when it comes to Capricorn? The Hierophant? Wow. Uh, making things right? Being back in a serious committed relationship? That's with the Twin Flame card? See, remember, earlier in the reading, they had that heart, um, that heart, what was it? Uh, initiation. Their heart chakra is being initiated and that comes with pain. That's what people forget though. If somebody needs their heart chakra opened up, typically it doesn't get open until there's a sense of pain, until they feel like they're missing something. It doesn't get open when somebody's good to you typically, usually for the masculine side. The feminine side, it's like naturally, we are naturally givers, the feminine aspect, right? Um, or naturally empathetic. So. With this person, I feel like the masculine energy has a hard time with their heart chakra. And I think that it's been opened up by you creating certain boundaries and in, in, in drawing a line in the sand. What about, uh, what is their next actions towards Capricorn romantically? Ten of Wands, okay? They may be walking away from, some, from something. They're making some type of sacrifice in order to come back because I feel like their life is in shambles and they have a lot of cleaning up to do. They need to clean up their closet. Um, and what is their intentions romantically with Capricorn? The Queen of Pentacles. I love that. There's your energy. Boom, right there. Beautiful. You know, they want a relationship. They understand your value. They're not dumb. You're not dealing with a dumb person. They may not do the right thing, but they're not dumb. Um, like in one reading, there was somebody that, was it your reading that they were dumb? Here's the thing. I do feel like this person is not as smart as you. Like, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is nowhere near as, as intelligent and refined as you are. I feel like this is somebody that's a little bit rough around the edges. Let me just put it to you that way. But when it comes to, this person may be dumb with what they've done, but they're not dumb in, in, in the sense where they, they know your worth, they know your value. They're dumb to think that they could play with the value. See, that's the thing. That's what people don't get. People are dumb because it's like they think that with a value, a person that has a sense of value, that they can manipulate them. But a person that has a level of value has value because of stupid idiots that cannot manipulate them. So that's where I feel like your person is a moron. Um, I feel like honestly, like all these people that are playing games, I feel like they're all morons. It's not just your person. I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a lot of um, this twin flame energy. It's a lot of, it's just like a lot of chaos to me. What is the, um, what is the best potential outcome here for Capricorn and this person over the next couple of weeks? Ace of Wands. Be careful, Capricorn. There may be a brand new start with this person, or you can have somebody completely new coming in here. So. This is your reading. I love you guys so much. If you want to know more about this, we're going to go over all of this in the extended where we clarify each one, plus we pull more Oracle messages. And with that being said, this is your reading. By the way, your person is stalking you and they're really, really, really devastated right now at the fact that things have ended. 
And I definitely feel like they're having this ascension, they're having this aha moment with what your significance is in their life. And it's taken this person a long time. And when I tell you they're going through it with judgment, death, the Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords, it's hurting them. Temperance, this is forcing them into healing that heart chakra. This is forcing them into healing certain aspects of their self that they've repressed for a period of time since childhood. So get ready for a sense of clarity, okay? Because it's coming in and you're going to realize how really fixated this person is. And I definitely feel like they're going to reach out to you and say something very, very, very soon. All right, guys. I love you. And until next time, peace.